What's going on my fellow scale model building YouTube friends? It's James the Yorkshire Modeler back with you again and we have issue 77 of the Battleship Bismarck. So with issue 77, what we get is the next hull section and more details for the funnel. So it's just some um, photo explant on parts. The um, hull section is pretty similar to what we got couple of issues back and then we've got quite a few little plant on details here for the funnel which I have got just here as well so first thing I'm gonna do is move this out of the way I'm gonna get the screws open for this week's build pop these up here actually so I can uh, see what I'm doing because the deck uh, Deck. I keep wanting to say the deck. I don't mean the deck. I mean the hull of the Bismarck is now starting to get chunky. So, as you can see there, it will just about fit. I think it'll just about fit. So, all we're doing is lining up this part just here. Under there like that. Let me bring the screwdriver in. Just going to attach this onto here. Now, one of the parts I was worried about with this was going to be the um, this panel because if you watched um, one of the other videos, you know, you'll know that that panel sloped up a little bit, and it was this one that um, kind of held it flat we're now doing the same thing on the other side so I'm really really hoping that this works all right and it does hold the hull flat because the last thing I want is to have a kink in the hull because I'm sure as you all know that would not where's the camera as I'm sure you all know, that would not be good. So. So that is the whole panel all in, on and attached. Just make sure all these other screws are tightened. That's that one and that one as well there. Now, you can see that actually moves, especially on that side. There's quite a lot of movement there, so I'm a little bit worried about that. Um, I know what goes in that position, so obviously this side here with the two holes, like kind of rectangular holes, there's going to be magnets in there that hold the panels on here. That side just gets screwed in as normal, so we only get one side of the Bismarck that we can see inside of. So, that's that bit done. Um, next, we are going to go on to... Let me just move my microphone around a little bit. Uh, next, we are going to... go. that's a bit high up, isn't it? Maybe move it to about there. That should do, shouldn't it? Move that down. Um, so next, we're going to go on to fitting the railings. So what we need for this... is the plastic that came with this issue. A little bit of super glue in there. And a pin as well. So, uh, we're going to start with this railing. Now, there's a lot of small detail parts on this. Um, so, you are going to want to take your time with this bit. So, we've got that there. We've got that there. So, let's get some of these parts uh, just that off of this screw. So, Uh, the instructions say to cut part B from the railing uh, from the frame 77.2. Take the funnel assembly from 76. Check the fit of the railing and uh, across the rear of the funnel. When you're happy with the fit, glue the pegs at the bottom of the railing in place on the crane. So B is this one in the middle, just here. So. Yeah, there's two two fixing points on this one. 
and the, there are two little uh, holes in this which are going to come um, become important later. So that's that. So if we bring the funnel in, now this part is going to go on the underside here where the um, where the cranes are there, but it's going to go into that little hole there and that little hole there. So I'm just going to test fit it first. Do it my way around so I can see how it's going in. Yeah, that's going to fit in fine. So, dab of glue. Now, I'm going to be clever here. And I'm going to get my tweezers. I'm going to hold this bit flat. Or as flat as I can, anyway. Let me get this off here. And I'm going to put the glue. On the actual pegs rather than onto the part itself uh, on the pegs on the part rather rather than onto the hole so I know I'm getting it the right way around there we go so I'm gonna pop that in there like that wow that went in really easy so that's that one in just there and then again on that camera just there so you can see it just there uh, so that's part one done part stage one and two sorry uh, uh, cut the strut D from the frame uh, fit one at one end of the railing uh, B which we've just installed the peg on one end fits into the hole in the railing now that's the bit I told you was going to be important that little hole there those two holes, so you've got one just there and then one just there, will hold these two pegs that I'm about to attach. So these two are that one just there and that one just there. So these have got two fixing points to them as well. I'm trying to get these off is like bleeding magic. Now there is one end of these pin, uh, pegs that is slightly longer than the other. So what I'm going to do is get both of these off the sprue without bending too many of the parts out of the way. Bend that one a little bit more than I wanted to. But there is always the chance to straighten these off again. It's coming off now. There we go. So if you do, I don't know that you can see it on that camera, but you can't really make it out very well. Um, that part, I can kind of make it out there, is a little bit bent. That's a good thing with the photo etch, is you can just push it back into position. There we go. So. Now, just have a look, quick look at the instructions. Now, on this part here, obviously you can see where the two holes are. So if I move that away a little bit, I'll show you on this camera. So you can see where the two holes are. On the underside of that deck part, there's like a little tab, like a little notch. That's where these two parts will go. So one of them will go into that hole, and then one of them will go into that little notch, which is straight underneath the other hole on this... Um, on this platform. So so the short end will go into the hole in that railing we've just installed, the other end will go against that little notch on the underside, so that will go in, whoops, not like that. Try to get it level, it was level until you touched it, you stupid child. There we go. So that will go in a little bit like that. And then it's just um, exactly the same thing on the other side. Dab of glue in there. And then a dab of glue in that hole. Just there. So.
we do exactly the same thing with this one. So again, the smaller end of this rail will go into the photo etch part we've put in in step one. The other end will go into the peg on the underside of the platform. And you know that they're stuck. There you go. That's it. So when they're both installed, they will look like that. Uh, now, the next one that we need for this um, issue is uh, we cut the railing A, which is the one that's just got the three strips on it. So it's this one here. So that's part A. Um, it has to be bent in a gentle curve to match the shape of the searchlight platform 65.1 at the front end of the funnel. Uh, C step 6. It's advisable to find a cylindrical object of a similar, a similar diameter and bend it around. So, I'm going to cut this off the sprue. Now, I don't know if I have anything that is uh, the right sort of shape. Maybe I have got that can here of the um, super glow activator. So I've got this, which I'll try just to bend this around here and hopefully it will be a similar shape. The problem is you bend it round and because there's so much spring on these parts, it might not hold very well. I'm going to try to put it on the inside of the lid, see if that does any better, because then you can manoeuvre the lid. That's actually quite a good idea. There we go. That wasn't too bad, was it? Look at that. Let's just hope it fits now. So, double check the fit of it before you glue it in. And would you believe it, it's just off. So I'm just going to slightly bend this part around just a little bit more, just with my hands. Trying to get that curve to be about right. I've got a little bit of a kink in it there. There we go. So, move that mic up a little bit again. Get it into the right place. So. So popping the glue onto the pegs on the railing as well. Now, where's that gone? There it is. This bit is going to be interesting because we've got to glue this part in place, but it might not necessarily be the perfect fit. Um, it's clearly not the perfect fit for my tweezers. So, no, don't you dare. There you go. Oh, it's not far off, actually. That looks pretty good to me. Get that in there. Oh! Oh, the annoyance. I'm going to do this with my these big tweezers. Pliers and I can get a better grip on it then. There we are. That's in. There. So, move that out of the way. So you can see the railing on there as well. So that's that bit done. Um, next is the final railing on this one, which is the uh, this one at the top just here that looks a little bit uh, of a strange shape. Now with this one, you do have to put some extra bends in it. Um, so I'm just going to get this off the sprue like that. And then you have to bend each side where the little notches are. So get your pliers and then just bend it around them like that. That's one done. And the same on the other side. Line it up. And then bend it around like that. So trying to get those bends into a neat, or as neat as you can anyway, 
right angle. There we go. Now this will go. Let's have a look. So this part that we've just bent goes on this platform down at the bottom here. Um, so there's like little hooks that look like they just hook in um, to hold it in place. Uh, the railing fits at the rear of the funnel assembly. The four pegs on the railing fit into the holes in the funnel extension when you're happy with the fit, glue these in place. So, dab of glue. I'm going to do this on the part again. So, dab of glue on the pegs. That's one. That's two. That's three. And that's four. Holding these pliers to hold the part in the right way around and then I just have to pop those two in there like that so get the tweezers to pop the other one in because there's one in but there's not the other one ah that one's not in either that's fine we'll start again pop them in there like that like that that's it the other way in Just trying to get this um, these last couple of pegs into the sockets. And then that is pretty much for this issue it all done. That's that one in there. Lovely. And it's the same on the other side as well. Right, I'll just have to tweak the fit on that one because it's not quite going in properly. But I'll sort that out. So, that's what that will look like when that railing is all attached just at the bottom down there. Now, the last part of photo etch for this issue is uh, railing and platform E. Identify the fold lines on the part, bend the two sides upwards as right angles as shown, and then fold the platform inwards. Upwards, sorry. So if I can just get this off of the screw first. So that's that bit all done with. And then the two sides that you need to bend up first are that side and that side. And then the platform that I'm actually holding there, you bend that up last. So. That's one up. Then that's two up, and then third one, just bend that up there as well. Just gonna do that last little bit with my fingers. So move that funnel out of the way. So this is kind of what you'll be looking at. When you're all done. So yeah. So that is everything for um, issue 77. Um, that little platform does get attached in the next issue. Um, I have had a look and gone ahead. So another hull section has been added. Let me move some of this stuff out of the way. Um, another hull section has been added to the hull. Uh, not shown in the pictures, obviously. Uh, railings and supports have been fitted to the funnel assembly. The railings and platforms will be fitted in a future issue. Um, the railing and platform sorry, will be fitted in a future issue. In, uh, store the parts carefully until they are needed. So that is what we end up with at the end of issue 77. Uh, with issue 78, <laughs> we get the foremast with a ladder and aerial and base are supplied together with railings, steam whistles and other details for the funnel. So that's all there as well. So guys, uh, please remember to like, share and subscribe to the Yorkshire Modeler for more weekly model building geekiness and I will see you in the next video for issue 78 of the uh, Battleship Bismarck. Uh, hopefully that one will be up quite soon. I know there was a bit of a delay with issue 76 with obviously the problems I had with that build. Um, I'm kind of hoping that curse has been lifted now but we will find out soon enough. Anyway, until next time guys, please remember, happy modelling and stay safe.